So boys and girls, here is how to use the different features of Pear Deck. So here's the draw feature, drawing feature. Um, let's say, you know, I showed you already how to draw. If I want to draw a banana, but then I want to um, label it and I want to write a little bit about it, I can click on text. Click anywhere on here and type, this is a banana. So even if you're drawing things, remember you can always add text. Don't forget you can erase things if you make a mistake. You can undo. Um, you can also draw lines if you need to, straight lines. And you can also use the highlighter, which is right here, if you need to ever highlight anything. Okay? You can also change the size of your lines. So if you want something really thick, like that, let's say, no, I want something thinner, you would just bring that down. And that's how thick that would be. Okay? Going on to the next slide the text slide. So this is where you would type in your response. And don't forget, boys and girls, whenever you see this audio included, there's headphones. You click on the headphones and you press play. This is where you can type in what you're wondering or what you're thinking from the book you've read. Okay, so here, I wonder why the sky is blue. Then you can add another response if you'd like. I think rainbows are pretty. Okay. Going on to the next slide. This is multiple choice. So how do you like Pear Deck and some of the features you've used so far? So we know you haven't used all of these features, but we're going to get to them. And over here is where you would choose. Do you like it? Do you love it? You don't like it? I love it. And then this one, you know, if let's say we were giving you a question, you would ask, is this statement true or false? Instead of pressing on this, because if you do that, then you'll just get the full screen, you come over here and you say it's either true or false. And boys and girls, there's no need to submit anything when you see this check mark it means that that your answer has been submitted here is a draggable okay it says drag you're going to drag each star on a u.s symbol so whenever you see right here it says students drag the icons and it'll show you what to drag down here and the icons for now will most likely always be around here so it says to drag it over the US symbol. So you would just bring it over to whatever you think is the correct answer. Okay? And you would bring each one. And the next one is another drag the icon. Drag the operators to make the equation. So here are the operators. 2 blank 5 equals 7. Is it 2 equals 5, 2 minus 5, or 2 plus 5? Well, I think it's when you add 2 and 5 together, you get 7. 7 blank 2 equals 5. Which one do you think it is? If you're right, you're right. Minus. And then 2 blank 7 minus 5. So we know that this is left. 7 minus 5 we know equals 2. So it's just not in the order that we usually write it in, but that's still correct. Next is another draggable. It's another drag the icon. So here's a stress test. I'm in a good space and I can focus. This is, it's from zero to 10. Zero meaning that, five meaning something's bothering me, but I, but I can still focus. And 10 is I can't manage my emotions or behavior right now. Very stressful. Okay, so I'm at maybe about right here. So I'll drag this to the two. Okay, moving on is the numbers feature. Solve the problem and type the num <coughs> numerical answer. What is two plus eight equal to? And you write the number here. The fastest way is to type it, but you can also use this. Or maybe you wanna you write 11 and then you change your mind. Oh wait, no, it's actually 10. 
So then you can change the numbers using these. And again, it checks off the slide for you. Now these are embedded videos. When you see something like this and a video on the right side, you must press play to start. So you would read this first, if you can, and then you would press play and watch the video. Again, if this is too hard to read, you can just press on it, click on it, and it'll show up as a full screen. When you want to go back, just click on it again, and then you can watch the Star Spangled Banner and sing along. The next slide is another embedded website. So it's not an embedded video, it's an embedded website. So again, if you can't see this, you can click on this. Read the Handbook of Land and Water if you did not already read it. You can browse a book here. So here, you can watch the video or you can click on those and see what happens. I'm going to close that back up and here is where we can read the book if you need to. So you'll have it side by side and you never leave Pear Deck. Okay, and that's it boys and girls. If you have any questions, please let us know.